dynamite diamond painters out there. Today I have another unboxing video for you. This of course is Gwen from Everything Gwenny and today I have uh, a little bit of an experiment that I did. I mean I, I knew these two companies were related but I didn't know they were related so much that they shipped together. So um, and I am a little nervous because I know that this site uh, these stores sometimes get mixed reviews, uh, sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're really not so good. So I think if I looked at my tracking numbers properly, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I could be wrong. This might only be two. I think this might be four. So I or one, two, three. Four. Yeah, so there is four in here. I'm okay. I'm not sleeping well. I'm sure you've heard that from me before. So I placed an order, two orders. I placed one order from Anna store and I placed one order from Home Fun. I ordered two pieces from each store. I wanted to see the difference between the two. Um, but I bought them on the same day. And it looks like they shipped them all together. So all four are in here. <laughs> so that's an interesting. Why I don't know why you bother having multiple stores if that's the way you're gonna do it. But anyways, so Home Fun and Anna Store, four projects in here, four kits. There is a Cinderella and a Little Mermaid, which are both 40 by 40, and they are from the Anna Store. And then there is a little stained glass Harry Potter and a color version of the Grand Wolf that I already have, the, the you know, with the special beads. There's just a color edition. Um, and those two I got from the Home Fun store. I ordered these on July 24th. They shipped two days later on July 26th. And I received them on August 6th, which was 11 day shipping, which is really good. Unlike Hua Can and their related store, eBuy, who I'm still waiting for those orders that I placed on June 29th. It's now been 35 days and still nothing. I did email the company and they said, we have 60 days, please wait longer, basically. So yeah, I was already disillusioned slightly with Hua Can and this is not helping. All right, let's take a look. So it's all wrapped up in the nice plastic container. It doesn't feel too, oh, so it says four, but I only see two boxes. So I wonder if they're wrapped two in one and two in another. That'd be kind of funny. So there's one box and there's the other box. Oh, that one's really heavy. <laughs> oh, the, this one here is very heavy. This one here is not. Um, yeah, that's interesting. And there's nothing noted on them to say that they're different. Okay, so let's just, let's start with the, the lighter one. It is a little banged up in the corner, but I mean, that's not a big deal, right? As long as the insides are good. So let's look at the insides. Let's look at the insides. So we have a tray, white with a spout, tweezers, wax, drill pen sticking out of the bag. Oh, I feel foam core rollers. Well, that's good. I like the foam core rollers. Um, hmm. I do have beads coming out though, which is not good. Oh dear. So it's like there's only one in this kit. Oh, there are beads coming out of this box. I'm going to have to get my Ziploc bag. Okay, so this is obviously the color Grand Wolf. Look at all of these beads. These are all different sizes and sparkly. Lots of sparkly beads. I love the sparkly beads. I don't know why. I just can't get enough of them. Even if it's like the ugliest picture in the world, I, if it has sparkly beads, I want it for some reason. So here's the other kit of beads. It just kind of came shoved in the box like this. As you can see, I don't know if you, well, if you can see, there's like blue beads all spread throughout this kit everywhere. Ugh. Okay, let's open it. 
I'm gonna have to get a Ziploc bag. Oh my god, look, look at the beads. Look at the blue beads everywhere. Ah, they exploded everywhere, okay. Okay, let's, let's remain calm. Okay, so they're rounds, but I think I knew that because my other my my other grand wolf is rounds and special beads. Okay, they're kind of staticky, I guess, because they're sticking to me. I've never had staticky beads before. I've had some oily beads. I've had some clumpy beads. Oh my god, they're all stuck in the oh, lovely. Uh, so they're all kind of stuck. I don't know if you can see it from there, but they're all stuck along the adhesive on this plastic bag. So I'm going to try to kind of scrape them off gently, but they're sticking to me now. Ugh, lovely, lovely. Oh, some of them are stuck on there really good. Even Rogue's annoyed. It's so funny. He barks and then he looks at me because he knows I'm going to yell at him. <laughs> He's like, uh, Rogue. He's like waiting for it. All right. Well, I got them all off the adhesive at least. I have a feeling these might need to be washed or something because they're all stuck to the stuff now. They're on the outside of the bag, they're on the inside of the bag, they're stuck to the glue. Let's hope I have lots of extra of this color because otherwise it might end badly. I might have to order some. Oh, so this is... So these beads in here are actually for a different kit, not the one that I thought it was. All right. So let me show you. So these are the home fun ones. There is a funky smell. Bull. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of yucky. So here's the picture. It's the stained glass Harry Potter. Uh, it is a 30 by 40 and it has 33 colors of which one of them is this blue that's everywhere. I'm thinking it might be this 820 but I don't see a hole. These bead pouches look very small. Like they don't look like, I, could, I mean I could be wrong, but they don't look like there's 200 in these. So like, let me see, this is 820, 820 says I should have four bags, one, two, three, four, five, so I've got an extra bag, but it says 634, so two, four, six, so I'm assuming there's less than 600, or 200 then. So, but this doesn't look like it came out of here, actually, you know, it looks like there's two, these beads. Callie. It actually looks like these beads that came out are two different shades of blue actually now that I look at it. Oh, well. Could it be this? Let's see. 3842 is one. No, that's just one. Like literally they give you three bags, but they've ripped the other two in half and who knows what they've done with them. And then it's ripped into the into the next bag, but I don't think it doesn't look like the beads can come out of there. So I don't think it's that one either. Okay, so let me just start marking this off. Because now I need to figure it out. 820, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've got five 820s. I'll fast forward through this.
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 32. Okay, so that's the black. Yep. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Okay, so well, it looks like everything's here, so that's good. The weird thing is, like, I can't, I, I shook the beads and I couldn't find, other than that one that was, like, ripped right down the center, but was extra beads anyways, I can't seem to figure out where these beads belong. So, I don't know if they came from, uh, obviously, that ripped one that I didn't maybe need anyways, or if they came from somebody else's package somehow. So, I'm just going to get them out of the bag here, and what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to scoop them into this tray that came with the kit because uh, I don't even know if I need these and like I said they're I think they're two different shades of blue even Ugh. and they're so static either like sticking to my hand they're sticking to the table drop it into my lap that's awesome so I, I like they're literally clinging to the side of the table as I'm trying to get them off. Let go. All right, I think I got them. A couple. They're like like right in the seam of my table. It's ridiculous. And now of course I'm just dropping them all over the chair, all over the floor. All right, I think I got them all except for the ones that dropped to the floor, which at this point they're gone then. They're gone amongst the dog hair. And I'm just gonna put them in one of these lovely Ziploc bags that they provide us with. Because <laughs> I don't actually know what color they are. If they're even for this kit. And we'll just keep them in that little, little bag, nice and safe. That's it. I'm just gonna. That's that's that. Put this back in here. All right. So that is. So those were the beads for Harry Potter. Which. So everything is here though. I, and like I said, I didn't see anything except for that one that was ripped open. But that was an extra, which is this one. So if you see again, this is 38.42, and it was like torn right down the middle. But this. The one package that I need doesn't seem affected. So unless they were in the top here and they somehow spilled out, I don't know. But really, they don't even look that color. They look more like they're this 820 color, right? But again, I don't see, oh, wait. Wait a minute. In momento, por favor. I believe that the corner of this 820, which did I have extra 820? I did. I did have extra 20 So I think the corner of this bag. Let me just let me just check. If I try to squeeze it out, that doesn't sound right. Yep, that's what it is. Ah, oh, we found the culprit. So it is this 820. This extra 820. I'm just gonna snip it right there because it is an extra anyway. So I don't even care at this point. But I'm gonna snip it. And put the rest of them in this random Ziploc bag. And so, hopefully, I'll remember that. Not that it matters. Oh my goodness, did I just do that? That was all me. There we go. Now I just have to pick up the ones I just dropped because I'm a klutz. I'm a klutz. Okay, let's get the ones that are not in the way. La 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 la. All right, I'm gonna have to get that tray out again. All right. <laughs> oh, really? Let's go, Gwenny. You are having a rough day, my friend. 
no sleep, too many unboxings to film. <laughs> I, I, I tried to like do like a little workout and have a shower to kind of wake me up and it worked temporarily but now I'm starting to fall asleep again all right so I'm just gonna put these beads back in here until I get the energy to uh, do the ziplock baggy thing that I usually do because that won't be today I don't think um, like I said, I'm not in a hurry. None of these are any of my gifts. Uh, I don't think. Let me look. No. None of these are free gifts. Let go. Wow. That one last bead wants to give me, wants to give me a headache. Okay, we're in. We're in. We're done. In you go. All right. So that's the beads for that. What a mess. We haven't seen the canvas for that one yet, but, oh, did I just drop another bead? Like, I really, another one, just when you think you're done, another one pops up. And I don't know where I put the bead bag at this point. I know it's rooted in here somewhere. There it is. At that point, I was almost like done. I was almost like, nope, done, forget it. These bags are so flimsy. All right, done. Now I'm done. And if there's any more, I don't care. All right. So let's just close that up. I don't want to look at it right now. <laughs> so we need to find the canvas for that one. I'm assuming it's in here. So let's just go ahead and open this box too. So I kind of want to do everything together, like the, that goes together. Oh, what's that? Oh my gosh, it really squeezed it in here. Can you hear it like squeaking? I really don't need 3,000 kits. Oh, they really just shove everything in here, don't they? Well, at least I don't seem to have some loose beads coming up this time. Okay. I just threw that on the floor. Three more kits of trays of beads of wax of whatever. Um, um, monstrous bags of... I'm just getting confused because I see this canvas and I know what this is. This one here goes with the, the crystal beads. Like that's fine. And I've got all these beads and then I'm assuming that the rest of the, all of them are like wrapped together here for some unknown reason with this elastic. But at least, at least I have to say there is a foam core in the middle. So hopefully that helps protect them. But these elastics can't be helping. Seriously, I don't think, I probably shouldn't say it yet, but I, I, I don't think I'm going to order from this store again. I don't know. All right. I just had to get those elastics off to kind of give it a break. Okay, let's see this. This says gift mm -hmm. and it looks like a giant pill, which is something I could probably take for my pain right now if this worked. Callie. Don't growl. Oh, I got up and I was gonna grip my Fitbit and I forgot to put it on. You know, if you're gonna give me a gift that needs to be opened, maybe putting a sticker on it <laughs> that won't peel off very easily is not the best idea. So the sticker says home fun on it. Home fun, hum fun, hum fun. So I wonder, is Home Fun and Anastore related to Home Life? H-O-M-L-I-F? You guys seem to know all this stuff. Because there was a painting I wanted to order from them. But if they are the same as these guys, I'm not sure I'm going to go for that. And that painting that I want is, is offered by a couple different stores. So I don't really have to necessarily get it from there. Oh look, it's a... It's a drill pen. So wait. Oh. Yeah, that's, ooh, that's great. Scratch the table. Is there, like, does it lock? Or does, because I don't want to, if you're pushing down hard, is it going to pop back in? It's actually pretty cute. Look at the little face. Oh. 
this might be fun to actually I, I, I like the feel of it in my hand I mean if it was a little longer it might be good um, but I like the width of it for sure if, if it was a little longer and the head sat a little higher in my hand so it wasn't rubbing my knuckle this might be pretty cute um, I have no idea how to put it back though now so it's just like stuck like this forever now because I've gone and broke it. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what I did, but it's still not going all the way in. Oh, sorry about that. That was a nasty squeaking. There we go. So I'm not sure how stable that will be since it just pops up like that, but pretty cute. All right, so let me just see. Because I've got a lot of stuff going on here. So let me start with this one. They wrapped, they took the time to wrap this one all by itself, which was nice. Because this is, ooh, this one feels different. This one feels, uh, oh my gosh, these elastics are horrible. I'm going to have to give it a little snip. Oh, I don't like the look of that. I thought that was like another elastic, but it's not. It's actually like a... Oh, no, it is. Oh, never mind. Phew. I thought it was like a... I thought it was something wrong with the canvas, but it is actually another elastic. And hopefully that means this one is too. Yes. Okay. Okay. Slight crisis of averted. For now. All right. So... This is a partial. I know it's a partial. I'm okay with that. Because this is, so if you saw my, was it DIY Moon? Yeah. If you saw my DIY Moon video, you saw that I ordered the Grand Wolf, which is the wolf with all the special beads. This is the same wolf. It's the Grand Wolf, but it's a colorful one. So the one I had before was blacks and browns and grays. This is more like the Rainbow Grand Wolf. So they're going to be buddies. Oh, I think this one might actually be bigger. I don't even know. So here he is. Mm, isn't he pretty? So he's like green. With like these fiery glowing eyes. And yeah, he's a partial. So see, it only sticks to the, to the partial section. And so it's pretty much got the same idea. Um... Except for the jewels are not marked. Uh, oh, but they're marked over here. So I guess like this green is 12. So I actually think this one has more special gems on it than the, the, one, the other one I had on it. So it is sticky, which is good because you have to have it sticky for those special gems. And there's no bubbles or anything. Yeah, it looks really good. It feels... It's a very heavy canvas, but kind of a plasticky canvas, too. So that's kind of interesting. There's 14 colors, of which uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So at least half of them, of which, of which half of them are special gems. So yeah. Whoops. And I went and muckered it up again. This is why I shouldn't even be bothering taking this off. All right. Oh, I did it again. Pardon me while I try to fix this 500 times because I'm a schmoo. That's my word, schmoo. That's what we call the boy when he's being a schmoo. We don't like to like use the words like idiot or moron or anything because he is autistic. And and not that it would matter, like you shouldn't use it with anyone, but so we make up funny words like schmoo. Don't be such a schmoo. All right, I think that's as close as I'm getting it. And yeah, these beads are really pretty. So we got some nice greens, purples, these tur big, big turquoise ones in here, which are really nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that one. And they had the nice foam rollers to prevent it. Dear companies, please use this. This is a wonderful tool. All right, let me, and it looks like it was actually rolled up the other way, which is kind of weird. Usually you roll it like with the painting side down, right? The painting, the pasting side down. 
Actually, I'm going to hang that one up. So I'm going to just put that off to the side and add it to the hang up ones. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, so let's dig into these other ones. So they're all kind of stuck together on one roll. So I mean, at least they're on a roll. Huh, we're on a roll, get it? Sorry. Wow, they're mm, stuck. They're really, uh, whoa, they're really, uh, <laughs> they really want to roll up on each other. All right, let's start with the smallest one. So this, wow, what did I get? Oh, this is the Harry Potter one. So it is, what did I say, 30 by 40. I uh, wonder if I do this thing, if it'll help it lie flat. Because right now it just wants to roll. It just wants to roll. Okay, well, the good thing is the, so the sign, the symbols look really good, really clear, a lot of blue. Oh, is this around? I don't even know what I buy, apparently. Yep, it's around. It is around, drill. Okay, so this looks really good. Let me turn it around. Well, let me turn it around, but you gotta stop the roll in here. Oof. Rolling, rolling, rolling. So, can you see? Let me see, let me see, there you go. So this is, I feel like throwing this camera out the window because it keeps stopping on me. I'm gonna have to look up why. So yeah, so this is the only owl I like. The guy who I can't say his name, Hedwig, Hedwig. And then you can barely see it, but I think there's, well there's Harry, and then Hermione I think, and Ron, or vice versa. And it's kind of just like a stained glass look. Um, I'll show you the picture in a second. Just want to peel back the bottom as well because it's got a little crease here and I want to take care of that. Before it becomes a serious problem. And hold my breath and hope it's not a serious problem already. I think it was just the way I was doing it. And then there's just the bottom. So it still wants to roll quite a bit actually. So yeah, I just got this, like I said, I just wanted to try a little experiment with the store, getting things from the two different stores and seeing how they would come, but they all actually came together. So that was kind of funny. Just kind of rubbing out the crease there. How do people do it? They do it like this. I don't know. So where's the picture? So there's the picture there. Can you see? That's very interesting. I'm gonna link everything obviously below but so that one can go. Uh, I think I'm gonna lie that one down to get flattened. All right so then I got the Little Mermaid and Cinderella. So they're basically both very similar. It's a new urn design I think. I've seen it out in a couple of different places. I know DIY Moon has this one but for this kind of a painting I didn't really need to go really over the top. Like I said it was just kind of more like a trial to see how this company works but this is nice because it's a 40 by 40. These two are both 40 by 40. It's not really a stained glass. I don't know what you would call this effect but they're really nice. Oh dear God. So these are all rounds as well. And so you can just see here. Let me turn around so you can see. This is the top. So this is a little mermaid one. And this is just the top of her head. Just, just try to pull it from this corner too. Wow, these things are so annoying sometimes, eh? Just trying to get them to... So yeah, I, I mean, I like doing rounds, but I don't really like the canvases of rounds so much. So there you go, you can see her a little better. There's Flounder, I think, up in the corner there. Can you see? Ooh. 
and then Ariel. Okay, and now let's look at the bottom. I find I don't have to rub these ones too, too, too much. I mean, this corner I do, but the top two corners I didn't have to. As long as the adhesive stays behind, I'm happy. And there's her tail. Looks good. Looks like there's a lot of blue, but I guess that's to be expected under the sea, you know. As you can see, I have a thing for Ariel or, or mermaids in general. I opened an Ariel one the other day. I opened another mermaid one the other day. And then there's that side. So yeah, that's pretty good. Nothing too, too exciting. I mean, it's exciting, but. And then the beads for this one are here. I really just don't like the way they package them. They like literally just throw them into this bag. and So there's what she'll look like. Pinks and turquoises and sea foamy colors. The good news is there's no beads floating around in there. I'll do the inventory for that in a minute. Again, I'll just fast forward through it. I'm going to lie these down to be flattened for a little short while. So this should be then the Cinderella one. So the same thing as the Little Mermaid one. It's a 40 by 40 square. And so here you can see, I think you can see, up here's the clock and Cinderella's head. That's just the rest of that side of the clock. And now for the bottom. I can't even tell what the bottom is, but I'm guessing it's her dress. <laughs> I'm guessing it's her dress. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the picture together in a second. I like when they split the canvas in two because it's very helpful. And there's the rest of it. Lots of blues. And so let's go see the beads for this one. Uh, so there's, there's the Cinderella. Uh, can you see it without the glare, hopefully? And then there's the beads. So again, they're just thrown in this bag and they're all blues and grays and Foamy. So I gotta be careful not to mix those two up because they are very similar in colors and so I gotta hang that up. Okay so I'm just gonna do the inventories. We already did the Harry Potter inventory. Um, I There is no um, inventory sheet for the, the lion so I don't have to do inventory. We'll just hope that everything's in there. Although now that I'm looking at it it looks like it's all, I'm just going to take a quick peek for a second, because it looks like it's all gems, which, hey, I'll be happy, but I thought, I thought it would have some, right, like my other one has some regular beads, and then the rest are, no, this is all gems, this is even better, guys, this is even better than the other line, the other line was like some special beads, <laughs> Callie, come here, please. The other line was just a couple special beads, or line, wolf, sorry, was just a couple special beads, and then the rest was like just regular black and gray beads. So these are the special beads. Look at these ones. I still can't get over these ones. These ones are really pretty. I don't know if you can see them. And then, oh, and these ones too. Oh, very nice. But then look, the rest, like the normal colors, the normal colors are all the sparkle beads. It's going to be like a sparkly rainbow wolf of doom. I am so excited. Okay, so this, especially since it's a partial and it's special beads and it's going to not take long, I think this will be my next project that's not Christmas related. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the one. Like, I'm working on the other one right now, so I'll finish that one, of course. But, yeah, that's next. All right, so I'm going to do the, like I said, we already did Harry Potter, so I'm going to do the inventory quick for Cinderella and Little Mermaid. I will fast forward through it, though, so you don't have to uh, suffer through it with me. And I'm not up for filming a completely separate inventory for these little ones. Hard in the crinkling. All right, let's get started. Oh, look at the colors, look at the colors. Okay, so there's 31 colors. Oh, the smell, what is with the smell? I don't know if it's mildew or what it is. It's just, it's just funky. Oh, there's some beads stuck to the top. We got some white. Oh, they're square though. Pretty sure that's not from this kit. And some other random ones, but let's see. Okay, I'll be back. everything Gwenny. I'm just here because I wanted to do a quick little add-on to the video you were watching. As I was editing the video I realized <laughs> that the camera must have cut off at the end as I was doing the inventory and I didn't even notice and I just uh, if you remember from the beginning of the video which you're just watching now but I filmed like a week ago probably now uh, it was one of those really sleepless days um, where I hadn't slept and I was kind of out of it and so I think by the time uh, I didn't even realize that the camera had stopped going and uh, so yeah I, I was just going 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 and then it was dead so anyways I did do the inventory on all of the four items the inventories were fine for all four of them uh, so yeah I know some people have had some issues with uh, Anna store and home fun in the past um, or even recently um, I seem to have gotten lucky. <laughs> I mean, there's like a weird smell and there's some other minor issues like the little bubbles and stuff that I think I'm going to be able to fix, uh, especially with Donnie's method with the uh, X-Acto knife and the paper and if that doesn't work, there's a couple other ways out there to like rub it out with the with the stylus uh, that Rowanna showed. So I'm pretty confident that everything's going to be okay. And I, I actually think I would order from them again as well. Um, again, that being said, until I actually do the projects and do the post review, I won't know for sure. Um, and I actually will be having my first post review coming very soon. Um, actually I have two that are ready to go. Um, just have to find time to finish filming them, editing them, and slot them into my schedule. Uh, also, I guess since I was filming this anyways, I figured I'd tack on the end the Peter Pan Nightmare Fiasco final update. Um, I did file a dispute with the company uh, since they were not willing to uh, deal with me anymore. Uh, they basically said we wrapped it as best as we can and you know if you're not happy that's not our problem. <laughs> it's pretty much the way it came out. And so I filed a dispute and I um, took a couple pictures of the close-ups of the bubbles and I submitted that along with uh, you can submit a video on AliExpress for your dispute and I submitted my actual unboxing video for the the second canvas um, because you can only attach one but in it I talked about the issues with the first canvas so they kind of got the whole idea and literally I sent it to them before I went to bed that night and in the morning I woke up and they said yeah we're gonna give you a refund so I don't know how long it takes for them to actual process it I haven't it hasn't processed yet uh, to my credit card but they they have approved it and so yeah and I left the uh, I left the store a one-star review I, I'd leave zero if you can but and I wrote out all the issues and with the customer service and the canvas so 
Yeah, so that store, I can't even repeat, it's like CNF number, number, number. Um, yeah, don't, I won't, buyer beware, as I said, um, I won't be dealing with them again. So, as I mentioned in a previous video, probably the Peter Pan video, um, I have two damaged, air bubbled Peter Pan canvases that I am about to throw out, but people had said that if I was going to throw out that they would like to try. Um, but I only have one set of beads. So basically, if you're interested in this, I said, uh, the only thing I can think of is you guys can email me at everythinggwenny at gmail.com and let me know if you're interested in either the canvas or the canvas with the beads, if you're only interested in one or the other. And uh, really, I, I, I'm not working right now, so I would, if you really want them, I would hope that you could at least maybe chip in for shipping. I don't know. Um, unfortunately, at that point, then it might be just cheaper for you to order it from AliExpress yourself. So, I mean, that's a decision you can make before you contact me. But, um, you know, to ship from Canada to U.S. is, is at least 10 bucks usually. And that's without tracking. And, unfortunately, once you get tracking, it doubles. Uh, it's just a nightmare. I know because I used to run... Uh, and I still do run um, an Etsy store where I sell yarn and shipping is really a nightmare um, from Canada unfortunately so I mean if you hear this and you wanted the canvas but but you 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 want it to be sent to you with for free and I can't do that unfortunately um, so yeah uh, especially if there's anybody out there that's running like a YouTube channel themselves and like wants to take it and maybe try to repair it for a, an episode like I'm fine with that too. Yeah, just contact me. We can figure out something. So again, it's uh, everythinggwenny at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, we can figure something out. But if I don't hear from anybody in like a week or so, I'm just going to throw them out because they're taking up space and really they just hurt me <laughs> to the core to look at them. Um, but I did take Donnie's advice. She had commented, and I think somebody else had commented as well, that maybe I should just try Hua Can to see if they could do a custom and... I had never actually thought of that before, but so I did. I sent the picture to Huacan and, and I'm they've already shipped me my custom. Uh, it hasn't come yet, obviously, and I don't expect it to come anytime soon because last time it took quite a while. But uh, I do have a custom Huacan coming of the Peter Pan, so hopefully that will make me feel better about that project. So yeah, but right now, no bueno. All right, so I hope you liked this video, even though it was long and technically filmed over two two episodes over two different days a week apart <laughs> but if you liked it please give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my crazy sleep deprived rambling uh follow me on instagram and facebook at everything gwenny uh and yeah i hope you have a great day and i hope uh, i have a great day and maybe get some sleep <laughs> and i will see you guys in the next video thanks <laughs>